you'll have the you will have the advantage as this Colossi are now laying into those units. These Immortals forced to push back because there's just so many units. More Stalkers for Cowie coming in. Oh man, now these pilots in the middle of the whole stuff there, so this Colossi will have to move back as he's now outnumbered. Yeah, as does not want to lose this Colossi, really fleeing back. But Cowie took a lot of damage while he just ignored those Zealots with Az pushing forward, trying to work on this proxy pile and does not want that to go to become an operational. And Az loses that, pushing out with his super damaged Colossi. More Colossi coming out for Az while Cowie is bringing in so many Stalkers, just pursuing these Stalkers. And they do not have that blink, so looking like he might be able to finish that off. And those Zealots were, while Cowie was trying to snipe that Colossi, those Zealots were able to do so much damage to Cowie's forces, and Cowie really lost the initiative there. But we are seeing this observer from Cowie picking up all the information. While we do see more gateways coming online, Cowie, look, Cowie looking to transition into six gateways and a Stargate. Meanwhile, as getting thermal lands as well as an additional two gateways of his own. So he's going five gateways and continuing to get these Colossi where we're seeing six gateways from Cowie and a Stargate coming out once again trying to uh, probably get out Phoenixes to counter these Colossi although in the last game Az was uh, able to basically ignore, ignore them with a decent composition of uh, Stalkers so curious to find out just how long Az will wait before he goes to push I'd imagine once this Thermal Lance completes he will have to push out because he does not want Cowie to get critical mass of Phoenix build up because then he'll be able to really just drop those Colossi really fast as well as lifting up a bunch of units so as will not want the this uh, game to go that long I would imagine I think that uh, once this Thermal Lance that as is going to push out and try and uh, shift the initiative back in his favor yeah I do wonder if the Stargate will pay off for him because he's now chrono boosting these Phoenixes out but it's a lot of minerals to go down just for a couple Phoenixes which with a bunch of these stalkers will be completely negated Curious thing is though, these Immortals will absolutely rip up any of those Stalkers that Az uh, does. So forcing him to make a few more Stalkers than he might actually want, then getting him with those Immortals could be a good tactic if he's got a bunch more Immortals. But now he's stretched uh, kind of thin with a lot of these production units. He's trying to get these Phoenixes out, trying to get these Immortals out. Um, really, it's just kind of... I don't know if he's got enough in it. He's got a, a huge army though, a lot of Immortals in that army. Very similar, just without the Colossi with these Phoenixes overhead. But those Colossi can do so much damage, whereas those Phoenixes can only kill those Colossi. So we'll have to see how it works out. Yeah, as he's pushing out, he has that Thermal Lance here. We are seeing those Phoenixes hit and running, these Colossi trying to work on it. This Zealot line falling into Cowie's lines. More Phoenixes coming in, but so many Sentries and Stalkers negating these Phoenixes. And as really got his Colossi able to go to town on Cowie. Cowie warping more units in. He's got a decent chunk of resources to burn on more units right here, and that Zealot line evaporates, but as looking like he's going to flee, waiting for his reinforcements, bunch of Stalkers joining this army, and Cowie is in bad, bad situation here. That Thermal Lance really providing the kicker, and he has more units warping in, bunch of Zealots, bunch of uh, Immortals. This one Immortal is so close to going down, looking like he does go down, and Cowie calls GG and caps out. So, really good timing execution there by Az, once again showing that in Protoss vs Protoss, if Az is able to get his Colossi out unharassed, uh, he can do so, so much damage with him, and uh, he is so effective with him, and Cowie once again switching to Phoenix, but really having no impact, so now we're all tied up. Great play by Az with the comeback. Yep, it's 2-2 in this best of seven, so we go to game five as Az has clawed it back, and it's all happening, so buckle up, game five time.